Search filters, or search limits, are another way that you can narrow down your results. However, when conducting a comprehensive search or a search for a systematic review, some filters in the database will not be useful or appropriate. Search filters are located on the left side of the screen. Let's start with a trustworthy filter, the publication date limiter here. If your research is only interested in articles published between a specific set of dates, you can select a range by selecting Enter Date Range or by moving the cursor on the graph. If you want to add additional limits, you can continue doing so from the option shown here. The next filter, the language filter, located here on the left, can be helpful if you would like to remove any articles that are not written in a language you or your team members can speak. We don't recommend filtering by subject for a comprehensive search, but it may give you ideas of new synonyms to add to your search. You have to select all your filters individually, and your page will refresh with the new results. You can remove applied filters here, below the search bar. When using filters and limits, it's always important to give proper consideration to what you'll be excluding before applying a filter to ensure that you aren't removing relevant results, especially if you're working on a systematic or a scoping review.